Hi, my name is Claire Cabal, a registered medical technologist. I'm currently working at University of San Carlos Water Lab under Microbiology Department. So in this video, I will talk about you and medical technology, what is medical technology, who are the medical technologists, how is medical technology as a course in college, a pre-med course, and a profession or career after. I know most of us are already familiar about medical technology profession because they're all over the news along with other healthcare workers fighting for COVID-19. So these days, medical technologists are the one that collects swab samples. They are also called the swabbers team. They are also the one behind the tests of these swab samples, sometimes blood samples for rapid tests to know if you are positive or negative of the virus. They're the one that performs this rapid antigen test. It looks like a kit. This is for COVID-19, a serologic test for COVID-19. And also this RT-PCR or molecular test known to be the confirmatory test for COVID-19. But before COVID-19 exists, what do we know or what comes to our mind about medical technology profession? Actually, there are a lot of misconceptions about the jobs of medtech like taga ng dugo, taga suri ng tae, taga suri ng ihi, at taga operate ng machines. Yes po, all of this are true. We are doing this in the lab. But it is not just that the way most people think because it is more than that. Before, I felt guilty because before, I thought, ganun lang din yung trabaho nila. I even call them nurses because they're wearing white like this. They're also wearing scrub suits like this. I even call them doctors because they're wearing thick laboratory coats. But now, I already understand, they actually exist as medical technologists. They are a different profession. They are medical technologists. They are behind the scenes because we cannot see them most of the time in the hospital because they're inside the laboratory. They are the analysts. They are the brain of the process to give reliable results to help doctors have better treatment and diagnosis. This one to the operating machine. Yes po, you can see machines, devices, and instruments in the lab, but it's not entirely taga operate kami ng machines. We are medical technologists. We are the analysts. So we still perform series of tests or manual tests meaning there are still series of tests or manual tests in between. It's not really machines all the time. Machines only help us produce results faster because in a hospital setting, everything or almost everything is really ASAP, ASAP. It's always an emergency. So we have to produce results right away. But of course, we have to ensure that results are reliable Kasi nakaka-apekto yun sa diagnosis and treatment ni Doc. Possibly. So you have to make sure whatever you're doing inside the lab is correct and reliable. So kaya nga, we work hand-in-hand -hand with machines. But still, we perform different tests. And these machines only help us. Especially in hospitals, if results goes abnormal, kasi maraming mga sakitin or may sakit na patients, we always perform or double check it manually if um, the machine's result is correct. So we we'll perform series of tests, manual tests, and sometimes we calibrate. We also troubleshoot machines to know if they're functioning well. Again, machines doesn't have brain. So medical technologists as analysts, they still serve as the brain of the process to know if the result is reliable. Of course, you need to release a reliable result to help doctors have better treatment and diagnosis. We do not diagnose, it's always the doctor's job. But it is also important as a mentor that we know how to correlate results. We correlate results from the machine, from our manual test, with that of the presumptive diagnosis of the patient for us to know um, what we're doing is actually correct. We are really doing this in the lab. Medics are the one that you hated so much when you are young because we have to perform blood extraction or sometimes finger prick 
like this for tests like CBC because you are sick with high fever or dengue for example we also check your stool for the presence of parasites like amoeba because you're suffering from amoebiasis and diarrhea if you remember but it is not just entirely blood and stool because there are a lot of body fluids in a human body and tissue specimens as well that med techs actually analyze or examine in terms of their physical chemical constituents microscopic microbiologic hematologic immunologic serologic molecular and histopathologic appearances and other areas that will actually help um, doctors in their treatment and their diagnosis actually it's like an investigation you investigate what's going on inside a human body and with this you are helping the doctor to give better treatment and diagnosis so everything that is ready beyond the naked eye is what med techs can see through different tests instrumentation and this microscope actually if you become a medical technologist someday microscope is your soulmate in the so med tech is really a laboratory work most of the time you're inside the laboratory performing analysis of the different human body fluids tissue specimens and cells so i'm telling you if you're a bit antisocial, maybe you could include medtech in your list because you'll not be facing patients all the time unless during blood extractions or collection of samples. But you'll be handling their specimens all the time inside the laboratory. Next is, if you love science, even your little science experiments before college or at home, gives you so much excitement as a student or individual, maybe medtech is also for you. Next is your biology and chemistry subjects in college or high school or senior high. You could also consider this if you love these subjects and these subjects gives you so much happiness, excitement, and so, maybe you could also include medtech in your list. Again, I'm telling you, Biology and chemistry are very important subjects once you enter this profession. There are a lot of biology and chemistry subjects in this profession. So your biology and chemistry can still be applied and are very useful. So you take them seriously. Even all the subjects, you take them seriously. Okay. And then lastly is if you love reading books and getting tired all night, you are really an advantage in this course because in medical technology or even in other medical courses there are a lot of book readings really you'll be reading you have this medical technology starter pack and these are only few of the books i'm not scaring you of course but of course you have to read going back bs medical technology is a four-year program in college with one year internship in three to four hospitals either public or private or both internship is like OJT this is actually the application of everything you learn in college this is to prepare and mold you before entering the real-life battle of a medical technologist so before internship you will have lectures and laboratory subjects of course you will expect many laboratory subjects in this program these are the major subjects in medical technology program of course, there are many subjects, including the minor ones, but these major subjects will tell you the scope and expertise of the medical technology prof profession. Later, if you become a med tech, you will encounter these major subjects in med tech as, a, as the different departments in the laboratory. So once you graduated in the program, you will take the licensure exam under PRC, and then once you pass, you have this three letters as registered medical technologist at the end of your name so you're already a licensed medical technologist and you can already work in a hospital lab or other opportunities waiting for you as a licensed med tech though most med techs choose to work in a hospital because of the priceless 
clinical laboratory experience, there are still a lot of opportunities or jobs waiting for you outside the hospital as well once you become a medical technologist. First, you can work in freestanding laboratories and clinics like LH Prime and High Precision. It's not a hospital, but it's still a clinical lab. So you will still be able to rotate the different departments I mentioned earlier in this video. Next, you can go abroad, of course. There are a lot of hospitals outside the country that are looking for medical technologists. Next is you can work as a drug analyst. Most drug testing laboratories they will always look for med techs because this is really part of the scope of the profession. Of course, you can also work as an HIV analyst and counselor. And next is in water testing laboratories like the one we have at University of San Carlos in um, microbiology department. You can also work in other industrial labs with microbiology tests. Since microbiology is really one of the scope of the profession, you'll be studying microbiology in college for three semesters separately. That's clinical bacteriology, clinical parasitology, and clinical mycology and virology. So you'll be studying all these subjects thoroughly as well as their associated diseases or pathologic conditions. Next, you can work in blood bank center or stations like Red Cross. During blood, uh, during blood donations, most of them are actually medical technologists. Also in the Department of Health, like our DOH president in Cebu is actually a medical technologist by profession. You may also work as a para parasitologist, also in crime or forensic labs with additional units you have to take or study, I guess two years. In research labs as well, like in Pavru, medtechs handle their influenza and dengue studies. You can also work in national reference laboratories. There are many rooms for medtechs there. For example, if you're familiar, the, the very popular RITM is all over the news. It is the reference lab for infectious diseases. Of course, there are still a lot of national reference lab. There are six national reference lab in the country. But I'll just mention RITM since it's very popular in the news. Again, it's the reference lab for infectious diseases. When um, COVID-19 started in our country, we only have RITM as the only lab that can confirm COVID-19. Thank God now that we have already a lot of molecular labs in the country. You can also work as a clinical instructor, instructor or teachers that's in the faculty of medical technology you can pursue your teaching career your master's and your phd as well you can also work as sales or medical representatives lastly as relievers or phlebotomists this is actually an on-call or contract that's like within days or within months or weeks that you have to work in their lab so this is a very good part-time before i work in the hospital, I also work as a part-timer in different freestanding laboratories. Lastly, you can pursue medicine or become a medical doctor. So yes, medtech can be a pre-med course. A lot of people in medicine um, have medtech as their pre-med course. They always choose medtech as their pre-med course. And many also claim that medtech is actually the best pre-med course. Magaling ka daw na doktor if you are a med tech. Actually, there's no such thing as best pre-med course because in medicine, you will still go back to where you started. You still have to study again. And I don't want also to mention about that or to make a comment in this video. I'll just refer you in this blog to this blog by Dr. Aura Azarcon. It's all about med tech as a pre-med course. But of course, if you have medtech as your profession, it will be an advantage if you specialize in pathology or internal medicine. But I will tell you that medtech is not just a pre-med course. It's more than a pre-med course. It's also a profession. Before, I also wanted to be a doctor, but I'm not yet studying in medicine right now. But I am so much enjoying my job as a medical technologist.
Actually, God already planned what is for you and who you will become after. May it be medical technology or other profession, I pray that you will serve your purpose with all your heart. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this helps you decide whatever course you'll be taking in.